All right, we're back with the original in-depth reporting on a topic we've been watching closely. And today we're picking back up on a story we've been following, the dormant nuclear reactors at Three Mile Island. Because decades after a partial reactor meltdown shut down part of the facility, the plant is now poised for a comeback ahead of schedule to help power the tech world's AI ambitions. NBC News got exclusive and rare access to the plant as old technology gets ready to power up the future as well. Here's NBC's Tom Winter. Rising from the banks of the Susquehanna River sits a three-mile island in Pennsylvania where America's nuclear renaissance is about to be in full swing. The comeback of this plant, the comeback of the industry, it's just kind of amazing. Three Mile Island's reboot, now fast-tracked, expected to open a year ahead of schedule in 2027, just around the corner. It was here in March 1979 that reactor number two had a partial meltdown after several errors in design and operation led to a perfect storm. That cleanup process requires releasing some radioactive gas. And that has scared a lot of people who live nearby. Number two never ran again decommissioned, and multiple studies by universities and government regulators found that the radiation released from the accident was one-sixth of a chest x-ray, and impacts were, quote, negligible. Even as reactor number one, this power plant kept going until 2019 when cheaper sources of energy forced its closure. Now it's time to power the good reactor back up. 1979 taught the industry so many things. It cultivated the standards. It uh, it, it created the training programs. You can't change the page on what happened in 1979, mm -hmm. but we actually changed the page on how we operate plants for the last 30 plus years now since that accident. Brian Hansen oversees over 100 power plants for Constellation Energy. We spoke to him late last year when the company gave us an exclusive tour of the plant. I take a lot of calls at midnight. He believes Three Mile Island, now called Crane Clean Energy Center, is needed for a new challenge the plant reopening to help power Microsoft's data centers. Data centers across the country are trying to plug into nuclear plants just like this one, driving new technology like AI and cryptocurrency. How big is the demand? Cutting edge artificial intelligence chips consume thousands of watts each in rack after rack of machines, each chip using enough electricity to charge 715 iPhones at once or 18 high-end refrigerators one data center can equal 43,000 homes. For the first time, I think the market's starting to signal like this, this could be big. It's part of a nationwide nuclear renaissance from California to Michigan to PA. Plants being restarted or having their licenses extended to meet the carbon neutral demand from not just Microsoft, but Amazon, Meta and others competing to develop life changing technology, they say. You think about national security, national uh, economy, you think about medical advances, so many things about the power of AI that's going to provide us. President Trump signing executive orders deregulating the industry last month. His interior secretary saying President Trump uh, here today has committed to uh, energy dominance. And Pennsylvania's governor, a Democrat, was here just this week for the plant's big announcement. Folks shouldn't sleep on nuclear. They should be aware of the important clean role it plays in our energy portfolio. Our politicians don't agree on much, but they seem to agree that nuclear energy is a necessary resource, an important resource for our grid and our nation's uh, in energy independence. NBC News got exclusive access to reactor number one on our visit with its massive turbine and generator, which makes the electricity. The control room getting prepped to get back online, the massive cooling towers. When we first spoke to Hansen several months ago, he was staring at 30,000 items that needed to be checked off a list to safely restart. Through it all, he's remained confident. We've gone out and done inspections. It's in great shape. Now his CEO says that thanks to approval from the grid operator to reconnect, the timeline is moving up a year. What won't change, Constellation says, is the plant's time-tested systems. I'm looking at these controls, actual real physical switches, and I'm thinking... This doesn't feel very 2024. This feels very 1960s when this plant was built. Um, is this something that your operators like, or are you guys going to strip all this stuff out and it's going to be flat screens and keyboards here? When soon? we restart the plant, it'll look just like this, back mm -hmm. to the original design basis. And operators, when they reach for a switch and they turn mm -hmm. it and they know it's going to send voltage on a copper wire, that's when they're most comfortable. Controls without the Internet, a possible cybersecurity benefit. 
so they can actually know that I'm not relying on the internet working here. I'm not relying on some sort of network or wireless signal. Yeah. Literally switch this and something's going to happen at the other end right away. Exactly right, Tom. Nuclear power once hailed as the future, a step closer to powering the future of the AI race. Tom Winter, NBC News, New York. We thank you for watching. And remember, stay updated on breaking news and top stories on the NBC News app or watch live on our YouTube channel.